Hello YouTube, this is T for Price 667. We're back with our first week playoff battle versus Tome and his Miami Mallet Marlins. Now I this is actually our first time playing Tome this season, so fortunately this is not a rematch from the regular season, which I was scared of with if I had to face Amo or Hayes, but I'm getting to face Tome, so I'm excited. Uh, Tone's a really cool guy. I've played him a few times beforehand. I don't know if I've ever beaten him before. Uh, it's been a little while since I've last played him as well, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, Tone has a very scary, like, super fast team overall. He's got uh, Dragapult, Melmetal, Urshifu, Rapid, so the weaker Urshifu, uh, Gardevoir, Silvali, Persian, Alolan, Magmortar, Mew, Nidoqueen, Vicavolt, and Lorlantis. So, in order to handle his team going into uh, this matchup, I decided first off to bring a Choice Scarf or Shifu. Uh, this is also an Adamant set with uh, max attack and then enough speed EVs to outspeed a max speed Dragapult. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to be max speed uh, timid, but I don't want to, I guess, risk the fact that he could be just to. Uh, uh, be it for no reason whatsoever. So I didn't want to like creep max speed moss or anything like that I just wanted to creep max speed timid just get it over with uh, That sort of thing just in case he uh, Decides to do something weird with his EVs in case he expects me to be scarf So uh, that's why I just have it enough speed to outspeed the max speed timid dragapult If anything else just there for that um, Rocking close combat with the blow sucker punch and u-turn of course, uh, Wicked Blow, just the spammable dark move. Uh, he doesn't really have a good resist. He'll have to probably bring Savali Fairy, if anything else, just to better check Urshifu, because if he doesn't, Urshifu kind of just claims a kill once uh, he gets some prior damage off on a few of his mods. And also, I'm rocking Sucker Punch in case I ever get knocked, like maybe Persian Alola decides to knock me or whatnot. So. I just want uh, the extra way to hit Dragapult, if anything else. And of course, U-Turn, just uh, for momentum purposes. Next up, we have uh, Top of Fiend. This is a very bulky defensive set. Rocking, of course, the Bold Nature. And this is my uh, Urshifu Rapid check. Uh, if it's Physical Dragapult, it's a Physical Dragapult check. And as well as, you know, Persian Alola and uh, Physical Mew, if they bring Physical Mew. And kind of, not really a metal check at all, but it's also a Calm Mind set. So I can start Calm Minding, like uh, Urshifu Rapids, kind of free Calm Minds. Uh, depending on the Savali, Savali could be Calm Minds. Uh, Alolan Persians also Calm Minds. So I can just Calm Mind on these mods. And then uh, Draining Kiss, Surf, and Knock Off. Knockoff is literally just to uh, knock off, uh, say, a, a Vikavolt if it's wearing boots, or uh, to drag a pole or a Mel Model, like especially Mel Model, Mel Metal specifically. So if it's protected pads, I can knock off his protected pads, and then Ferrothorn kind of just, and then Mel Metal becomes afraid of Ferrothorn. So. That's why the knock is there. Uh, Surf and Draining Kiss, just dual stabs. Draining Kiss just to get some HP back. Uh, versus things like uh, Drag Ball or Shifu Rapid, that sort of thing. But yeah. Next up we have Choice Band Rhyperior. Uh, they don't have a Rhyperior check. Their Rhyperior Resist is a Loriantis. So this thing literally just comes in and clicks a button. And something is probably going to die. So... It's just uh, four attacks, choice banded, earthquake, rock blast, mega horn, heavy slam, uh, max attack of adamant with uh, enough bulk to uh, take on. I believe it was a uh, Vikaball energy ball since I'm solid rock. Yeah, I believe that's what it was. Uh, so, and also, I'm actually. Uh, put some speed investment as well to outspeed the Viking Bolt. Uh, so they'll have to put a lot of speed investment in their Viking Bolt just to outspeed me. Of course, I would outspeed Memo unless it's like, you know, a bonus max speed type of thing. Uh, Earthquake, it's just... All of these moves just go in. Uh, if it's like a substitute Dragon Bolt, I can Rock Blast and then hit it after the sub. So... 
that's what it's there for as well. But I don't know if I'll probably sing it just because the Surf Dragon Bolt is very scary. So uh, we'll just see how it goes and everything. But this is literally just comes in, uh, claims a kill. Except we have a very, very bulky uh, Ferrothorn defensive wise. Of course, once again, to take on Melmetal. I should, I do live two uh, superpowers from the Melmetal. So that's kind of what it's here for. Uh, coming on the first superpower, uh, fits protected pads. I can knock the protected pads or I can get a leech seed off or anything of that nature. Uh, they don't, once again, <laughs> their grass type is a Lorantis. So if they decide not to bring Lorantis, uh, I get a free leech seed on pretty much anything. Uh, it also can work as an Urshifu Rapid, especially if it's like Surging Strikes or Urshifu Rapid check. Because uh, I think, as, like, if anything, he'll probably have be forced to bring protective pads on both his Bell Metal and his Urshifu Rapid. If not, Rocky Helmet Ferrothorn kind of just does a lot of damage that, like, a lot of residual damage that they would not want to be taking. So, and then of course, Spikes and Toxic. Toxic just to Toxic anything that wants to come in versus it if they switch out. Yeah, uh,. Uh, Nita Queen can also be kind of scary for this set specifically, so I'll have to watch out for Nita Queen. I don't like Nita Queen <laughs> facing that thing, it's really tough. But next up, we have just a uh, Boots uh, Cinderace with a enough speed to outspeed everything on the team except the Dragon Ball, of course. He is, so, this is including outspeed the Alolan Persian. And then it's rocking Sucker Punch, U Turn, Pyro Ball, and Court Change. Uh, Core Change is in case he ever wants to bring Webb's Viking Bowl. I don't know if he wants to or not. He might. I'm not for certain. It'd be kind of scary with like uh, Nita Queen or uh, Rapid or Shifu. And Gardevoir as well. So I can see him bringing Webb's. If he does bring Webb's, I can Core Change him and make them my Webb's. So if he does that, that'd be great. I'm not kind of, I'm kind of not expecting it, but just on the off chance that Webb's do come. And I just like uh, the other three moves, of course, Sucker Punch for a Dragapult, Pyro Ball because it hits something really hard, and U Turn just hit out. Uh, sam simple uh, attack, like max speed, a lot of attack, and then some HP, pretty much Cinderace investment, nothing new there. Next up, I have a very bulky, both special defensively and a little bit defensively, uh, Delmize. This is to take on. This is my literally last line of defense versus a Dragapult, as well as a Gardevoir. Uh, it's uh, can see Barry to tank a Shadow Ball, and then I can kill back with Poltergeist, or with Gardevoir's uh, case, Anchor Shot with Poltergeist. Also, spin in case he ever like gets T spikes up with Peter Queen or uh webs up on both sides it's like gets webs up and i can't just core change them with my cinderace i'm going to spin them away instead uh magmortar do be looking kind of threatening versus his team just because of his coverage but i think this is a good team to bring uh i'm excited to see what uh Talon brings i'm excited for the match and i will get back to you once the match begins Okay, and we're back, and this is what he brought. He brought... Okay, he got the Dragapult. The Metal. The Mew. The Urshifu Rapid. The Gardevoir. And the Silvali. Alright, uh, so what I see first off, no Lurantis and no Nido Queen, which is great because I didn't really have a great way of checking Nido Queen. Uh, so, let's see what I want to lead with. Do I want to just lead Urshifu and click U turn, or I could lead. Hmm, also, I see that. His removal is Mew, so if I could get spikes up, that'd be great. Uh, no levitating mod as well, so I can figure out boots and whatnot just by getting spikes. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll just lead Urshifu. 
If anything, I can U-turn out. Or I could click Wicked Blow depending on what he leads. So since so I'm a Scarf set, so I believe... I'm pretty sure I should outspeed Gardevoir. Even if it's Scarf. Uh, Chimera Tech. So it's uh, Savali Fair. Kind of what I expected, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn out. That doesn't really tell him anything. Uh, whew. He also doesn't have Mag Mortar. I could go Cinderace, honestly. I'm I'm expecting a parting shot. But Cinderace also doesn't care for damage too much. Uh, I don't want to go Ferrothorn because it does get Flamethrower. Yeah, he just multi attacks. That's fine. Nothing. Uh, I'm just going to fire off a free Pyro Ball. I get uh, unrecoverable damage on this thing. And uh, it's like only a mana he would really want to go into is Urshifu. Because everything else is not going to appreciate this. Yeah, so he just hard withdraws. And he goes, IP man, what's that? That's Urshifu. Okay. Alright, I just want to get some damage off on this. Do I get a burn? Oh, nope, never lucky. So that's a multi attack. Uh, we'll just go into my Urshifu check, pretty much. Uh, so we're just going into Fini. I didn't want to risk if he was a uh, Scarf or anything like that. So what does he do here? U turns. Okay, good move on his part. Uh, see where he wants to go into. Uh, my guess would maybe be Mew. Oh, it's just Mel Metal. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what this Mel Metal wants to do. I'm just gonna go Ferrothorn. Uh, if anything, this tells me what. Uh, set this mount metal is. Also, it's a multi attack, so it's a physical Savali Fairy, maybe? I mean, it would be for the Rashifu specifically. Let's see what this mount metal I'm guessing it's protective pads. Oh, it's Earthquake. That does nothing though, so we're fine. I'm going to get a layer of spikes up. Or do I just leech sheet? Uh, I think spikes, a layer of spikes is uh, very important here. He's Brick Break. Oh my gosh, he's not even... He's not protective pads. So that Brick Break did a little bit more than I wanted to. But, uh... I think I do live another. I'm just gonna Leech Lead up. I think I live... Oh, I do not. I do not live. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, that sucks. I would have loved to get a leech seed on this, as well as like one more. 
But Mel Mel is in uh, very damaged right now, which is great for me. Uh, I can literally just go right here and click Earthquake. Yeah, he doesn't have an Earthquake switch in. Alright, so I still have my Fini as well. So Rhyperior KOs. Melmetal. Does he want to go Gardevoir? Maybe? I'm scared of Gardevoir, still. But getting that, up, that one layer of spikes is really nice. Uh, depending on... He goes back to Urshi. Okay, is this Boots? It's not Boots. Nice 12% on everything. We'll go back to Fini. If he U-turns, fine. Uh, he doesn't have his Melmetal anymore for Fini. So let's see what he wants to do here. And also, I'm just getting chip on everything, which is really nice. So that uh, Urshifu can win in the end. I'm gonna keep it right here alive and healthy. We go Fini. Does he peach out? Just you turns out again. Imagine if I just stayed in and clicked Earthquake calling the U turn. It would have been hilarious. But he doesn't really. Like, Fini is in a good health position currently. So he doesn't really have anything. Uh, Gardevoir, maybe. I can uh, calc Gardevoir damage here. Mew. Okay. Um, let's see what this Mew wants to do. I think I'm going to Calm Mind. I'm going to see what this Mew wants to do. Most It's Mew, so it could be literally anything, and I hate that. Oh wait, if it's Trick, uh, I'd be not in a good position. It's also Combine. Okay. Uh, Birds of the Feather, Roost Together. Uh, do I just go Urshifu? Oh, wait, it's... I'm gonna knock. If it's Culberberry, I want it gone. Yep, it's Culberberry. Perfect. And now, Urshifu can kill it. I don't want to call mine again. I kind of... Do I just want to go Urshifu here? 
Oof. Hmm. Do I risk it going just hard or Shifu? Because you could click like Dazzle or something. I think I want to make the middle ground and go Del Mines. No. Crap. I need all these mods still. <sighs> mm. I think I'll go Cinderace. Yeah, I will. I would be okay sacking Cinderace here. So he just clicked his Giga Drain. Okay. What if I just, uh... You turn out? Or do I Pyro Ball? I'm just gonna Pyro Ball, I think. Um, I'm okay with second Cinderace here. Just getting damage off on you would be nice. Because, uh... The thing is, this Mew's not a threat anymore. Because the Culver's gone. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I called it wanting to click a fairy move. I'm guessing it's not a so I'm gonna sucker punch actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my I'm gonna sucker punch. Get as uh, much damage off as I can. Um, uh, please tell me you didn't click Calm Mind or something. You did not. Ooh, almost dead. And he clicked Psy Shock. Oh, that sucks. Now I can just U-turn. That's really good, actually. Now I got rid. Of, I dealt a lot of damage to the view without it touching, like without it killing any of my bonds. Now, does he sack the Mew here? No, he doesn't. So he wants to keep it alive for some reason. Because, like, I'm literally just you turning out here. This is really good positioning for me. Uh, my Fiend full health. This is a free calm mind for me. And the thing is, this is also, like, just having one, that one layer of spikes up is amazing. Uh, he Aqua Jets, I guess? Um, I don't know why. That might have been a misclick on his part. If so, I, that really sucks. I apologize, Tone. Uh, but I'm just going to take advantage of it and just get the free Calm Mind. I can Calm Mind again. If I want to be risque. But I'd rather not. I think I'm just going to... Draining Kiss in case he's P-Jab. No, I, I have speed. Okay. So he's a uh, bulky set. Alright, so... Tapu Fini kills... Or Shifu?
He's running out of checks. He goes back into this thing. Alright, so uh, getting damage on this is amazing. I'm just going to Drain and Kiss, uh, just so I can stay healthy. He could also be Parting Shot, I guess, which would be annoying, but the Spikes damage is really nice. I have speed, so he's bulky everything, because like this Vini doesn't really have a bunch of speed. And that did pretty much nothing. I could literally just uh, Drain and Kiss uh, away most of its health again. And the thing is, I'm literally putting myself in position for a sweep of or Shifu at the end. Yeah, so he's doing not much damage to me with this. Especially with uh, Draining Kiss just getting most of my health back. Yeah, and his Mew is really low as well, so. This should kill. Okay, not yet. Oh, but that's not good, because now I'm in... I don't like the damage I'm at. I mean, I'm still above 50%. I think I'm just going to Draining Kiss again, get as much health as I can here. Alright, so Fini also KOs. Uh, so volley. Now he doesn't have a good check for my or Shifu anymore. Uh, Gardevoir comes in. Uh, I'm plus one. Okay, set the Misty Surge again. Nice. So I'm going to see how much... Like, this Garvar could be Specs. It wouldn't surprise me if it is. Oh, it's just Healing Wish. Oh, I see what he's doing. It's for the Mew. But that doesn't really matter to me, because uh, the Mew is slower than So it's Healing Wish, Gardevoir, okay. That's really cool. I mean, I still beat this. 1v1. And I'm also faster. Uh, I think... So he's rocking Psy Shock, is the thing. So, uh... Do I switch here? And just click Pyro Ball to get uh, damage off on the Mew? 
because I need to check something. Uh, I don't want this thing healing, is the thing. I'm gonna go Cinderace. Okay, so we just get a drain by Cinderace. I think this kills. It does not. Uh, do I just Sucker Punch here? Yeah, Sucker Punch. I need as much damage off of this mute as I can. Uh, he may have just called mine, calling my Sucker Punch. No, he did not. Yeah, so this is fine. Uh, Cinderace goes down. So, but that just brings in Urshifu. Where I just click Wicked Blow until I can't Wicked Blow no more. Alright, last one on Dragapult here. Uh, am I about to get reverse swept by a Dragapult? Let's find out. So I should have speed, and I don't know if this kills or not, uh, depending on like, how bulky Dragapult is, I guess. Oh yeah, that just kills. Alright. Urshifu cleaning it up for me, and that is a good 4-0 win for your boy. I think first week of playoffs here. Uh, GG's to Tone. Uh, I think I just had a good game plan, and he just fortunately didn't bring the mods that like scared me the most hilariously. So, it is a good game plan. Uh, getting in my Fini and... Um, Combining as well as taking care of the Mew early so that it was an early combine killing me. And just uh, forcing the Gardevoir to having to heal wish the Mew first thing there instead of being like, I guess it was Scarf by by the looks of it, it was Scarf Gardevoir healing wish into Mew. So, uh, GG's to my opponent. Again, I was just a. Over, I think a good game plan. The uh, combine Fini is just a threat and a half for his team, especially when there was no good Fini check. Especially like when Melmetal went down, there was no way to like hit uh, Fini really hard, really quickly on his team anymore. So I'm just happy of how that went overall, and I'm excited. Uh, next week, I believe I'll have to. Let me check here real quick on who I'll be playing next week for semis. You know, if we just go to... Oh. So next week I will be playing... Let's see, since I was uh, 6 versus 3. So it would literally be uh, the winner of the Ann Arbor Excel Gores or the Miami Mets. So I could, having, I could have a rematch versus OGL by it technically, which would be hilarious. Uh, or if like OGL Bino loses, then I'd be playing. I would be playing. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm really struggling here. <laughs> I will. Yeah, I will be. It's either OGL Bino or Jesse 504. So I haven't played Jesse 504 yet. Uh, he has a Soul Galeo, which is fun. Or I'd be playing OGL Bino again and his Kieran Black, which is really, really scary. So. Yeah, uh, once again, GG's to my opponent. Uh, it was a good game. I just, like, uh, Urshifu plus Tapu Fini kind of just uh, wrecked his team. 
is like I I think it was like also like probably one of my best matchups of the season thus far, just for the simple fact that Finny and Urshifu just kind of just went in on the team as I said earlier, like forcing the Savali Fairy, but with Savali Fairy I could handle it with my other mods. So yeah, overall a uh, fun game. I enjoyed it. Uh, good luck into future seasons for Tone, and I will see you all next time. Peace.